Hey everybody. So just to introduce myself, my name is uh, Mark Rasmussen. I live in Lehigh, Utah. Um, we like to call it Silicon Slopes here. Um, I, ha I work as a cloud and artificial intelligence architect for a, a semiconductor manufacturing company. I, I'm working from home. I'm permanent work from home. So um, it's got its benefits and it's got its negatives, right? I mean, parking is great. There's always a bathroom stall open, uh, but sometimes it gets a little lonely. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. Um, I've struggled with weight my entire life. I'm, I've always been big, even as a, even my recollections of elementary school um, when I was in uh, like a little kid. I was always wearing husky, and that's always big and and, uh, but at the same time, I was always pretty active. Um, people would tell me that I was the most active big guy they ever knew. I used to really enjoy playing tennis, uh, golf, disc golf, racquetball. Um, I try to run 5Ks to keep up with my wife. Um, but, uh, you know, I was always, I was always pretty active. Um, it's funny, one time I went to the, and I was always pretty healthy. I went to the health clinic at work and got my, my blood work done and, and the the guy there, he's looking at my results, and he's all, hmm, hmm. He's like, well, by these, you're one of the most healthy people in the company here, but but you're not. So anyway, I was always I was always pretty healthy and pretty active. But unfortunately, as time went on and I got older, uh, at one point my my knees gave out. Um, my activity dropped, you know, significantly. Um, I couldn't do the the things that I really enjoyed doing as much. I couldn't go golfing. I couldn't go disc golfing. It was difficult to stand for long periods of time. Um, I actually do better walking than just standing in place for whatever reason. Um, but very, very frustrating. Um, fast forward a couple years and and right as as COVID was, uh, right before COVID, I went to the doctor and and at that point I was about 550 pounds. And um, I got my blood work and the doctor gave me the bad news that I have diabetes. Um, I'd never really had issues with blood sugar at all. And then suddenly at some point my body just decided that, well, enough is enough and and there it was um i had no knees so you know it's like how do how do you mitigate that so um really my only option was was diet um started looking what you know what what can i do to to fix this i have two daughters that i want to be there for and and uh, you know i love my family i want to be there for them and and uh, so the first thing I started doing is I started up my uh, hydroponic gardens. I got a, a hydroponic garden. Um, I set it up in my office um, and started growing my own lettuce and cherry tomatoes and other greens. And, and I would eat those for, for lunch. You know, I'd have a salad. I'd just add some protein and I'd either have a salad or a or a stir fry and uh and I'd have that for lunch and and uh it worked pretty well. Um at first I, I lost about fifty pounds, I kept it off and the big thing is so when I got my diabetes diagnosis, um it was a ten point zero. So after doing that for six months, I dropped my A one C to to a six. Point zero, and uh, lost 50 pounds, kept it off. Um, so it was, it was somewhat working. Um, but, you know, I was still, kind of, and I kind of plateaued at that point, and I really needed to figure out the next step. So I started looking at, uh, you know, what, what can I do for exercise? My, my knees are shot. I don't have any way to to really um, exercise 
the best way. I can walk, but not very far, not really enough to to get a, a lot in. So I've been very blessed in my life. Um, I've got a. I grew up in in a fairly uh, poor area of of Salt Lake, and but I managed to get through college, get a get a degree, um, an engineering degree, and work my way up at my company and do pretty well for myself. And so it basically made it possible that I could afford the option that I picked, which was I got a, a swim spa. Now, I have bad knees, like I said, and so um, I actually got the swim spa buried partway so it's just above a couple feet above the ground so it's easy to sit on the edge and get in and out um, if it's tall there would have been a lot of stairs to climb and I didn't want anything that would make me have an excuse not not to use it um, if it was flat on the ground all the way buried um, like if you're a big person and you're trying to get out of those it's sometimes it's okay if you have a handhold you know something to hold on to but a lot of times it's kind of like you're you're flipping yourself up onto the ground it's kind of embarrassing it's you're like a beached whale or something anyhow so but because of i got it buried i started this last fall and it took in september and it didn't get done until this year about march april time frame we finally got it done you know they had to they had to dig out a vault pour concrete and then they had to uh, bring a crane and lift the the swim spa into the hole, and then we had to put decking around it. Um, so it, it was quite a process, and so it did take them some time. Yeah. But now that I got it in, um, I was able to start doing some exercise, and then. At the same time, I've been researching more into diet and everything I could find on the internet with a bigger guy like me. Um, people were using different techniques to try to lose weight. And the ones that seemed like they had the most success and they were able to keep it off all followed what's called alternate day fasting, which is basically you don't eat for the entire day. So you wake up, you're fasting, you go to sleep. The next day you can eat so essentially you end up with 36 hour fast so i looked at my schedule and i didn't want to do it on the weekend because i wanted family time um you know friday's date night saturday sunday monday sometimes we're on trips weekend getaways i didn't want to do it on and so basically what i did is i decided every tuesday and thursday i would fast so I, essentially i started doing that about me so I have two um, 20 or 36 hour fasts a week. And I combine that with trying to at least three times a week uh, do the swim spa. And then once a week, I'll try to do Beat Saber <laughs> in the Oculus for to get some exercise in. And I've been doing that for a few months and, and I've managed to drop an additional 40 pounds. So it's been been working. It's been really, really good. Um, but today is the start of something new. I'm I'm excited. Um, I'm nervous. <laughs> I've had some friends and family that have uh, been using what's called Ozempic. So it's a medication. Um, it uses a. It's focused on a, a hormone called um, GLP one, and basically they it's a weekly injection and it was originally done for diabetes and then they also have a weight loss only version of it now and it helps um basically it slows down your digestion and makes it so you're not hungry and, and helping with the diabetes and they, they also had the effect of helping people lose quite a bit of weight well so my diabetes even though it's a curse in this case was actually a boon for for me um i was able to get a subscription to what's called mount jaro and mount jaro is kind of like the next version of these these types of drugs and it also adds a, an additional hormone 
component uh, for GIP. Anyhow, the, the studies show that it also helped battle the diabetes side, but it also helped them lose even more weight. So over a 72 month period, the people on the uh, 15 milligram dose uh, lost an average of, I think it was 24%, which is pretty significant. And there was quite a few that probably lost more and there's a few that probably lost less. So that is, and that's, that's something that's, it's game changing. That's the same type of levels that they get from the bariatric surgery. And I never really wanted to do surgery. It just, it just seemed like that was uh, something that I wanted to avoid if I could. Anyhow, so uh, my doctor gave me a prescription for that. And this morning uh, I got, I'm starting on the five milligram. Um, you have to titrate up. You got to get your body used to this stuff. And so this morning I gave myself my first shot. Um, I haven't had any symptoms yet. It's only been a couple hours. They say that the symptoms that most people, the side effects that most people could potentially get. Um, and you get less if you titrate up like you're supposed to, but um, gastrointestinal stuff, diarrhea, constipation, um, nausea, the, the funny thing is, is I get, I get the, the gastrointestinal stuff from, from doing the, uh, um, the alternate day fasting anyhow. So, so I'm not really too worried about, about the symptoms. Um, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm really pretty, pretty excited. I mean, if this can help me to lose that much weight, over you know increase what i'm already losing and and if i can lose that much weight that would put me down in the range where i could start having them consider helping me fix my knees um you know they didn't want to do it because i was too big um but if i could get my knees fixed i can have my life back it took me a long time to get over the the depression of just like I, I couldn't do things that I used to do. I had to find new hobbies. I, I started my hydroponics. I started doing 3D printing. I started doing my outside gardening. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to, to, to see what happens with this. You know, will it help me accelerate, keep me on track? So I thought I should document this. I don't know if anybody is even going to watch this. It doesn't really matter. It's more for me than, than anything. Um, I do have a lot of things I think I could share, especially in some of the, the fun things I've done with hydroponics and gardening. So maybe I'll make a, a sub channel for those at some point, but, but I just wanted to, to document this and this part of my journey at least. And, you know, as a, as of today, I'm, around 460 to 470 pounds I, I bounce around a little bit you know depending on on uh, water weight um, so we'll see how things go so excited nervous so just hoping this stuff works for me it's worked for a lot of people but you never really being as big as for as long as I have I'm I'm 53 years old and I've been overweight my entire life i've done every diet you can think of i've done 600 calorie a day diets i've i've done i mean you name it i've 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 tried it and some things worked working out every day like a madman with a, a training following an eating program i managed to to drop 150 pounds at one point but then i couldn't afford to keep doing that because funds got tight but I mean you shouldn't have to train like an Olympian every day just to be normal um, so if this gets me there you know um, I'm hoping I'm praying so that's all take care guys cheers